Yo, what is good, everybody? We are in a sold out crowd here for Tuesday night clapbacks. What up, Danny Coop? What's up, Tony? Happy to be here. Very excited to see what happens this week after uh, last week's monumental money in the bank. Man, that money in the bank was absolutely crazy. Complete carnage. Bodies everywhere. Ladders everywhere. Both the women's and the men's. It was complete craziness. We started off with the women's money in the bank, and we seen Queen Mala destroy and conquer and become the women's money in the bank holder. With that, sad news comes. Vigilance was injured in that match, and we do not know when she will be returning. Yeah, that's uh, it's definitely sad news. Obviously, Vigilance is one of the the top women in the in the division, and she was probably the top prospect to really get a shot at Taijutsu Gates and take yeah. her out, even with not winning the Money in the Bank. So, with Vigilance out right now, really, I believe Queen Mala is the 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 big name that's going to be challenging her. You know, we did yeah. see some impressive uh, performance over the last two weeks from some of the women. Uh, making their debut here at at Tuesday Night Clapback. We have a new debut tonight, and we actually get to see Taijutsu Gates in action tonight. With her being in action, you got to wonder, will Queen Mala capitalize on that money in the bank? Will she cash that in tonight? You got to wonder, with uh, Gates being in the ring, it's a you know, great opportunity, or will she hold it a bit longer? That's the thing with the money in the bank. You get to play the mind game with the person that's the champ. Yeah, typically the the money in the bank is 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 the long game, and and that's the the beauty of it is, it's not even just the 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 champion going into a match that has to be careful and has to watch their back because you can have a a grueling match where you and your opponent go to hell, and you could walk out on top managing to get the one two three, yeah. and the next thing you know, here they come cashing in on you. And you thought maybe you you are safe because you now you finally you just captured this championship. Uh, no one's safe from the money in the bank cash ins. That's the crazy thing about it is that somebody can cash in at any time. Any time. Typically, like you said, it's the mind games. It's the long game. You got to be careful to make sure that they don't sneak attack you. But every now and then, every now and then, somebody kind of changes the game and they approach it a different way. Just like our boy Virgil who we've seen in past weeks, he is a monster, actually pulling out the dub in the Money in the Bank men's competition. And instead of being strategic, instead of playing that game, instead of playing those mind games, he decides to put up a fair – he wants to do a fair fight. He wants to do it the fair way, Danny Cooper. He tweeted, calling out the champ. He's cashing in tonight. He let him know I want to do it a fair fight. Danny, what is your thoughts on that? I mean, what what strategy do you see here? You know, and normally I would say he, he's he's stupid. You have the beauty to cash in whenever you want. We just talked about the the benefits of yeah. carrying that money in the bank contract. However, we saw what Void did at the hands of Virgil. We saw yeah. what how he took that beating. He made Virgil look like a chump and the beating Virgil took last week during the money in the bank, he got put through a ladder yet. He still managed to defeat all the other competitors and win the briefcase. So maybe calling your shot doesn't matter. That being said, Void is still out. This is his last week of suspension. As you can see here, you know, Void weighed in on the back and forth between big Virgil and hot shot on Twitter and made it real clear. I think he made his intentions very clear. He has one week left. And, and he didn't could... say Big Virgil and Hotshot. He he strictly addressed Hotshot one week. And I think True. we know what he has in, has planned when he gets back. I could see that being a deciding factor also, though, with uh, with Virgil. He knows Void's not going to be here. He knows nobody's going to be there to interrupt that match. So it could be, you know, that could be the strategy going in. Uh, we also seen what Void did to Five Star. Um, Five Star tweeted tonight, also earlier today, um, he said he's ready to turn things around this week. He's had a last couple, you know, crazy couple of weeks. It's been hard. He said he's coming for that top spot, but somebody had something to say about that. 
Yeah, rough house and what I like to, to call bully mode is just not mincing words and making it very clear how he feels. And honestly, I don't think it matters who he's going up against. Rough house definitely thinks he's the best there is in uh in, in this division, Tuesday night clap back. They they're lucky to have him. I'm sure if you ask him, that's how he feels. Um, but yeah, he's he's making it real clear that uh and, and taking shots, you know, not only is he, is he pointing out how he took a you know, five star took a beating, he clearly mm-hmm. was not money in the bank um but you know the, the, those are that's a big threat you know if uh yes, it is. You know, five star speaks, mm. five star ain't gonna, he's not enjoying that talk he's not he's not having it of course he said let's go he's never backing down from a fight that is our first match of tonight and i'm excited to see it danny are you ready to get this action started with the match number one Absolutely. And I'm just hoping that five star is ready. Like we said last week, he took a beating during the money in the bank and, and had a really poor showing. So I, I, I just hope that we don't see a repeat of last week. I agree. Doesn't look like he's missing a beat. Doesn't look like he's uh, having any issues there. He looks pretty good. He, he came out in, in pretty decent shape, and there's that swagger. Roughhouse not concerned at all, and I'm sure in his mind, he's this is light work. Let's not forget about the beating that he took from Boyd this is in true. the ring. So both these men have something to prove tonight. Neither one of them winning that money in the bank. Both of them getting beat by Void. They have something to prove. Let's see what happens tonight. As these two get it home. Get the match underway here. If I start wasting no time. Going for the top rope. It's a little early to go for those high risk moves, I gotta say. But he huh. gets him with the double axe handle. A little bit of a delay there for Rough House. So you would have think he would have knocked him off that top rope instead of wasting time. My star on the attack, though, showing some great athleticism. Man, nice standing moonsault. Both these men do not like to lose. Five star showing some aggression. Yeah, he must yeah, not like the way that uh, <laughs> the way that the, that tweet sounded. Yeah, you, you know, it's 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 uh, you get caught out like Ooh. that, and it's it's one thing to have big talk, you know, be a keyboard warrior, but when you get in, you step in that ring, it's it's time to put up, time to, a you know, yeah, yeah, you gotta you gotta back up your words, and right now, he is not doing that in five star. Hey, he made it clear he's coming for that number one spot. In order to do that, he cannot let anybody get in his way. Oh, going for the Superman punch there and missing. Yeah. Following up, though. I got to say, this looks like it's a more one-sided than when Ooh. Rough House took on Q-Man. Yeah. The first time, not the second time. We know Rough House got the win the second time. Oh, nice choke. Good form there. Could be it. Oh, five star battling out of it though. Ooh, Ooh. a nasty headbutt. It's a little, a little dirty there. Maybe, uh, maybe the beating that that five star took is gonna kind of light a fire in him that that he needs. Mm. Get that mean streak going. Going for the cover here. Mm. A little too early. A little too early. Roughhouse is not a pushover. No, he's not. You wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell by watching this match, but he he definitely is not. Can't ever get too cocky though. Ooh, oh. Nice counter. Mm. That little kick to the face was nasty. pretty brutal. Going up. Ooh. Ooh. Picture perfect. This is it. Let's see. Oh, able to kick out. He's a fighter. But like you said, it's been really one sided here. Ooh, another standing moonsault. Ooh. Been one sided here. Five star. You, he, he definitely seems like he's got a fire lit underneath him. Ooh. 
Ooh. Now that's kind of the oh nice super. Did you notice how he just kind of paused in the air? Like he, he really did go into slow motion. I thought we had a, no, a very strict no powers rule here mm. on Tuesday night clap back. Well, sometimes you can't the the, the momentum gets the hold of you, and then you get that dub. Five star was not playing. I gotta say, if you make tweets like Roughhouse did, and you come out and you get embarrassed like that, it's not sending a good message. Ooh, what do you got here? This little distraction here. Oh, what is this? Ice block coming out. Man, he's a, that is a big man. You know, we've a got a lot of big man. guys I, here. We gotta wonder what the beef is about. We know that Five Star missed the. Uh, the original tag team match that was supposed to take place, Ice Block coming out. You gotta wonder if that's gonna spark some kind of, some kind of rivalry between the two, or maybe he just wanted to jump in and say, "Hey, you coming for that top spot? Guess what? You gotta go through me too." There is a long line uh, vying for that title. We know that Big Virgil's got his guaranteed shot tonight, but there's a lot of a lot of men in the division that are looking and, and they want a shot at that title and you've got to you got to take each other out very true you uh and, and like you said we got a lot of big men we got a lot of super athletes there's some crazy competition here and uh nobody is letting anyone climb up the ladder without uh some pushback these guys are all hungry in our ladies' division and in our men's division, they all are hungry. They all want to eat. They all want that big Thanksgiving plate that's full of food, and they're ready. Um, also, tonight, we have Trash Panda and Spider Squirrel tagging up against, you coined it. Uh, I think you coined it a couple Ace weeks Jax. back. Ace yeah, Jax. Ace Jax. Yeah, Lumberjacks and Ace Blade Part 2. Now these two these two teams faced off in week one. Uh Spider Squirrel Trash Panda able to get the win. Ace Blade over Trash Panda in singles competition. Spider Squirrel over Lumberjacks in single competition. They have been going back and forth. This rivalry is heating up. But as far as tag team matches go, the squirrel and the panda are one over. You gotta think if they win the match tonight, they're gonna put a nail in that coffin and it's over. Yeah, you know, there's uh, you, you, we see in a lot of sports there are rivalries, and it gets to a point <coughs> when when you have to put the rivalry to bed and move on once you see the same team, the same winning over. Yeah. The, the curious thing that we're going to see here is going to be can Lumberjacks and Ace Blade work together? These two have had some, not been on the same page and had some challenges, and you know, we, we look at, uh, the win loss record and right now ace or ace plays the one that's that seems to be the stronger of the two and, and lumberjacks is looking team. like the weak link he's definitely holding down the team you're right about that danny uh both of these guys though just full of swag and confidence you can just see it um let's see man i don't know i love tag team matches so i'm here for it yeah, and I, I gotta say, you know, Spider Squirrel, I, I kind of wonder what his goal is. I mean, Spider Squirrel and Ace Blade, I, I really would like to see these two in a singles competition. Yeah. Um, you know, with the speed and agility, but you know, Spider Squirrel looks like he's definitely gonna be one that's that's ready to, to step up and might be challenging for that title soon. I can see that also. Spider Squirrel, like we said, super athlete. Um definitely somebody to keep on your radar. Because he is, uh, he's incredible, man. Getting to work early on Jax here. Jax is a big man. He lifted him up there like he was uh, about 110 pounds. Well, you know, they say squirrels are very strong, Danny. You'd have to be to pick a man like that up. Ooh, and another kind of slow motion turn in the middle of the air. Tagging his partner in. Got the two powerhouses here. We can tell that that trash panda means business. He's got his mask on tonight. Got his mask on tonight. He is ready to put in that work. You got to think. I mean, none of these men, 
especially Trash Panda. He didn't even get to be in the Money in the Bank because he lost that opportunity to Ace Blade. So you can you you're probably you know can guarantee he's upset about that. None of these men were able to win the Money in the Bank, so they they all got something to prove, Danny. And that right there was surprising. I mean, Spider Squirrel just watched Lumberjacks crawl for that hot tag and made zero effort to stop him. It's like he's not worried who he fights. Maybe and he just you know, wants to get his hands on Ace Blade. Maybe he wants to let his partner get his hands on Ace Blade. Makes you wonder if that's a, and there's a little bit of arrogance coming out there and if that could, could backfire on them. Mm. And right now it's Ooh. looking uh, nice, nice move there, but to this point it's looking pretty one sided. Yeah. Bit of back and forth though. Oh, a nasty punch. And then the disrespect. Damn. Mm. Very disrespectful. Yeah, you know, it's 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 maybe Ooh, Ooh, nice counter. It might be some nice of those counter. mind games, you know, you be disrespectful on purpose. Maybe you can upset your opponent and, and force them to make a mistake or Again, maybe it's some of that arrogance. They're just not taking things as seriously as they should. Ace Blade attacking the legs there. You got to wonder. Ace Blade is, I mean, Ace Blade is very athletic. He's very talented. We've seen him do some remarkable things. Um, but you got to just wonder. Spider Squirrel and Trash Panda got their number. I feel like yeah, we've not yet seen it. To... Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll say, yeah, we're not Ooh. seeing a lot of. Uh... You know, solid teamwork here where, you know, typically you, you want to isolate, cut off the ring, isolate them to your corner, work them over, you know, quick tags. Um, but we're not seeing a, ooh, taunting. It backfired on him. Yeah. Yeah, you got to wonder, you know. And, you know, and I'm a little disappointed. We haven't seen much of Lumberjack's, uh, so far, you, you know, since since we started Clapback Tuesdays, it seems like we haven't seen Lumberjacks at his full potential. He was an absolute monster in the first tournament. Yeah, you know, in in when you look at that, you're looking at that from the the singles competition perspective. Ooh, I thought it was over there. You know, really good move by Ace Blade to to stop like Spider close. Square from breaking it up. But yeah, you know, Lumberjacks. It's you know being a Working properly in, in in a in a tag match is a different kind of psychology and, and and thought process, and you know maybe he's more of a singles competitor. That could be that could be the case. That could definitely be the case. On the offense now. Seems like every time he starts to get a uh, get some momentum, he tags in Ace Blade. Nice little chant there. Crowds on their side. Can we see a tap here? Hmm. He's making little efforts to get to the, uh, you know, and that's questionable there. He ran right past Lumberjacks to, to, to Ace Blade. Like, what was the goal? Yeah, you got to wonder. Seeing some power here. Not capitalizing on it, though. It's kind of disheartening. Ooh, this might be the, the, the turn. This might be where uh, Spider Squirrel and Trash Panda put things to bed. Mm. Ah, rope break. Rookie. Rookie yeah. Mistake. Gotta know oh, the face you got. The ref. <laughs> Shots are ref. Took it like a champ. Mm. 
Ace Blade not, must not have been worried too much about that pin. He didn't even, didn't even try to break, break it up. Yeah, yeah, you know, typically you see those kind of bumps from the ref, and they're they're out, and not so much here. We got them superhuman refs. There you go. I would say that they're probably on loan from the extra human division, the the EHD. Ooh. This might be it, Danny. Oh, wow! Nice, wow! I thought I thought it was over. I did too. Mm. You know, Trash Panda and, and Spider Squirrel started out slow. Nice springboard moonsault from the middle rope there. Oh, not quite as great. <laughs> you know, that's a. Why would you go for that kind of move when the opponent's getting up? Yeah. Not sure. Not sure the strategy in it. We've seen these two men go head to head in the ladder match. Ace Blade was able to get that win. I would imagine Trash Panda is. Been wanting to get his hand. Damn, oh, that was just disrespectful kick to the face right there. Mm. We've seen this move from Ace Blade multiple times. Yeah, showing off his his uh, mat skills and his his submission technician there. Hmm. Able to get out the way. Get him up there. Able to reverse. Nice counter. Mm. There you go. You, you move move him around. Get him away from those ropes. That right there is where Spider Squirrel made his mistake earlier with the submission. Going for the pin. Yeah. Should have brought him a little closer to Lumberjacks. Yeah, if Spider Squirrel wasn't there, I think things would have been over. Oh, Trash Man has got some fight left in him. He's, oh, he look, oh, there he goes. He's, he looked like he wasn't sure what he was trying to do there. But after you take a bump like that, I mean, you're probably a little uh, disappointed. Ooh, Ooh my go God. to sleep. That might be. Oh, whew. That would put most people to sleep, Danny. Yeah, yeah, you gotta wonder where uh, Trash Panda was on that. Must have felt confident in his partner. Going for the tag. I'd like to see Jax do something here. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Disrespectful. Yeah, the... <coughs> what? It's, it's the, the slow stomp for me. Mm. Now, that's a big elbow coming off the top. That is a big... Again, oh, and busted him open. Hopefully our ringside uh, doctor's ready with some of that, that special super glue. Yeah. Oh, we're seeing a little tag team move here. Ooh. I take That's back what I said earlier, you know, them not working working well together. Uh, that should have been it right there. I am surprised that that was not over. You had the beautiful tag team move, and then you follow by the by the Superman punch. The momentum has changed here. This and it's been back and forth the entire match. Ooh. Ooh. This might be it. Both teams are showing just some uh, some fight here, Danny. Oh, we would get out of the way. That mistake could cost him. Yeah, smart move by Ace Blade, just to just one step backwards. That's all it took. Bouncing the head off the turnbuckle there. Both these men are busted open, bleeding. Some 
frustration there from Spider Squirrel, the way he was kicking him into that corner. You could tell he's frustrated. Irish whip him into the corner. Oh. Mm. Trash Pin is one to ten. Ooh. It's disrespectful. That was nasty. It's the, the little like kicks, jabs to the face. Mmm, they would get the reverse there. Oh. Mm, Both these nice teams. Flip. These they are not letting each other get an inch here. You know, you can tell that this is, uh, you know, as, as arrogant as they came into this match. I, I think Spider Squirrel and Trash Panda are taking things seriously now. Ace Blade must not been too worried about the tap, about the uh, pin there. He didn't even try to go in. We've seen this before. The Flying Squirrel, he misses it. He misses it. Could be it. Max is calling for was calling Ooh. for the power bomb there. Ooh. These men are not letting up on one another. This has turned out to be a wonderful match. Ooh, nice counter to a choke slam. But there we go again, right there on the ropes. But that that's you keep them in your corner, you cut the ring off, that's how you uh you Man, talk about back and forth. Yeah. They're putting on a hell of a match. Mm. This match is make this uh, the way this match is playing out. It's it's got me excited that there was this is a part two. I mean, this match is way more entertaining than the first time these teams met. Seems like Lumberjacks and uh, Ace Blade are. That was a powerful slam there. And if Working I'm not mistaken, it looks like Ace, uh, Ace Blade may have gotten busted open. We see some blood coming mm. through the, the eye holes there on his mask. You think you might be right, Danny? Ugh, that's a lot of pressure on the knee. Somebody who used their legs for their, for their kicking abilities. Oh, and a quick spear. This might be it. Ooh. Ace Jax with the win. You got to wonder why. Where was Spider Squirrel during that? You know, with uh, everything that was going on, I mean, I know Spider Squirrel, he, he tagged him in, but he, he definitely seemed to want to take a break after that. Yeah, he and he was leaking. He was bleeding pretty badly. Uh, he might even have suffered from a concussion there. You don't really know where his head was at. Uh, yeah, he may have not known where he was at. It's a good point. Feeling loopy there. I mean, this is very physical. You got to wonder, Danny, are we going to see a part three now? You you know, you asked me, you've got to settle. I mean, you, we, we, we could go to a few more singles matches. I mean, I would like to see Trash Panda, you know, the, the, the powerhouses go at it with each other. I'd like to see Trash yeah. Panda go... One on one with Jax, but I really want to see Ace Blade and Spider Squirrel fight it out. Mm, um, yeah, but you know, these things typically go to you know who knows the next, the next uh, premium event we might see the 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 kind of the, what we would call the rubber match, the third match to decide who is the better tag team. Yeah, our next big event is Clash of Champions. We could see uh, see them settle who who wins uh, who wins a rivalry. Uh, you know, best two out of three. I look forward to seeing that. Um, that was a great match, man. That was a wonderful match. The, the both teams really put it all out there. Uh, you got blood every every time you see you know two competitors bleeding, you know that the uh, the match went down. Speaking yeah, of going down, we get to see the champ. We get to see two champs in action, but we get to see Gates in action tonight. And uh, I'm a fan, Danny, okay? You know, it, it's uh, Dominica's 
premier match, but I'm going to say from what we've seen from, from, from Gates, I don't think it matters. She's going down. Gates is coming out on top of the victor. Yeah. This is just a formality. Um, the question is, is betting odds on how long you think the match will last yeah. before Gates I, gets the win. I'm 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 team Gates, man. I'm a, I I gotta say, I know we're not supposed to be too biased, Danny, but uh I, I'm I'm a I'm a Gates fan. Put me on the yeah. fan club, I'm a fanboy. Uh she does work. And I, yeah, anytime. she's so far I feel like she's when we look at competitors, she has been the one that has has dominated the most. Yeah, I agree. And she's just a little, little mix up there. We've got last uh, maybe last week's video playing there. I don't know. She uh, she just comes out so full of uh, confidence. She looks good with that belt. Yeah. You know, she's not, you know, we've got a lot of large competitors in the men's and women's division. You know, we've got Titan, Queen Mala. You know, Gates is one of the smaller competitors, but she's, uh, she's no pushover. Yeah. You're right, making a debut here. She's looking serious. Dominique is wearing her armor, and I got to say, I, 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 I don't blame her. She's going to need it. Yeah, I agree. She's looking fierce though. She's looking like she ain't uh she ain't out here to play around. But we we've seen, we know what Gates can do. Oh, taking her down early. Going for the face shots there. That's where you, you know, it's got to come in that you got to you got to study your opponent and you got to come in with a game plan and you know, Gates is is a fast competitor and and Dominica's it looks like her game plan is to match that speed as best she can. Ooh. Looks like she's even pulling some some moves out of Gates Arsenal here. Mm. We're not we haven't seen too much from the champ starting off, I gotta say. Pulling one of it, that's that's one straight out of Ace Blades playbook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when the goal there is to 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 punish your opponent and, and make him pay. I mean, has, has Gates had any offense to this point? Not to this point, but mm. we know when she gets started, it's hard to get her to stop. Looks like she's on the move now. Nice knee there to the midsection. Oh! Gates showing why she's the champ. Hmm. Yeah, there's just something about the, the pair of mm. Chuck Taylor sliding across your face. And it's, you know, we saw we saw Rough House compete earlier tonight in, in Chucks and, and you know, I'm hoping Gates has a better showing so far. That's a that's a that's just a different way to do a splash, I yeah. gotta say. Gates We know she she uh she reps the Chuck Taylors very proudly. But I gotta say, man, for for uh, you know coming in on your in your first match, he's doing pretty well against the champ here. Mm. You know, and that's it's there where you know you you see someone come out, and I'm not sure why she's taunting because you know quite frankly she doesn't really Ooh. need to be. Um, and this is an extreme rules match. I forgot. Uh, so this is you know web no no DQs, nothing like that. So. See, that's uh, Dominique has shown that she, you know, her, it seems like the, her wheelhouse is being a brawler. And uh, mm. maybe she's going to make mistakes if she's trying to go outside that wheelhouse. You know, she has some of the top training in the world yeah. as a fighter and a warrior. Um, so far, she's given Gates the best challenge we've seen. Yeah, she is. And that's saying something because she's fought against, you know, Titan and. Other ladies in this uh, in this division, and oh, that might be it. That was nasty. Oh no! The I'm champ. gonna hear that that sound in my in my dreams tonight. That Goodness. that shot was nasty. Oh, going up top here. Oh man, it's almost like she's she's watched too much footage. 
and is trying to copy the playbook of the champ. This and, is where uh, we see the speed of Gates come into play. Like she's you gotta flying wonder, around the ring. You know nice why would you why would you copy? I mean, you want to copy? I guess if you want to copy somebody, it'd be the champ. But nobody's gonna know the champ's playbook better than the champ. Ah, uh, you know, Dominica is just she's you, a little you're, cocky. You're, yeah, valuable time. You've got a bat sitting right there. Why would you shadow box and? Come on now, just, just finish her off. She's a bit cocky. I'm, I'm not. I'm pretty well, sure like this is a non-title match. Is that right, Tony? Yes, non-title match. Um, mm. But you gotta wonder with the way that she's handling business if she's not uh making it clear that you know next time it might be a title match. Yeah, and you know, with Dominica coming out and 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 having such a great premiere and debut showing you know mm. you gotta wonder what does this do for kind of the the mythos of, of taijutsu gates is this does this mean that the rest of the ladies in the back are no longer a foe oh, wow that was an amazing move does it mean that the ladies in the back are or they realize that she's only human and she can be beat or you make you make a good point there you got the sled oh with the sledgehammer mm. oh Oh, got right up from that. To the body. What happens when you're dealing with superhumans? Sledgehammer shots mm. don't even Ooh. phase them. Some frustration there. Some nasty kicks. That'll, that'll tear the meniscus, the ACL, MCL there with those type of leg twists. Mm. We have not seen our champ, women's champion, uh... What we, I don't know what we got going on there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I, shocked. <coughs> I am shocked to see Gates just being punished like this. Too much showboating. Mm. Listen, Matt, that could cost her. There you go. Going for those those high high flying moves again, and, and it just not working out. Nope. Hmm. You gotta imagine Gates is wanting to get this one over with. Ooh. Ooh. That's what we call a receipt, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh. Nice little. Those body shots. This is why mm. Gates is the champ, man. She takes that. She keeps oh, going. She's waiting. She's waiting. Is she going for a finisher? Ooh. Ooh. This might be it. <clears throat> We've seen we've seen that before. I think oh. uh, she should call that move the Major Pain. You ever see that movie, Tony? Oh, Major Pain, yes, sir. Yeah, my, one of my favorite scenes is when the late great Bam Bam Bigelow is there, and Major Pain's like, "I'm gonna take this foot right here, put it across your face right there." Oh, That's what we yeah. just saw right there. We've seen this. Uh, now this might be it. Two and That's three. It. Wow. Couple takeaways. One, Gates doing Gates things, okay? She's mean with the footwork, but for a debut match, she was just tested like we have never seen her tested before. Yeah, Dominica came out um, ready to go, and it, it leads mm -hmm. me to be very excited about um, her tag team partner, Marky, if, if Dominique could come out and make yeah. that type of an of, of, of a debut, I can't wait to watch Marky in action. We'll see both of them ladies in a tag team match next week as they face off against Titan and Ironsmith from Heroes International. So I definitely am looking mm -hmm. forward to that tag team match. Danny, I do got to mention, though, before we get to our main event, I'm digging the merch, my guy. I'm digging the merch. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Tuesday night clapback shirt there. Uh, we this whole thing? Just, yeah, I just dug it out the laundry. We might have to make that available for the people. We might have to get that <clears throat> up on the store and make that available to the to the, to the people watching. I think you're right, Tony. I think we need to get this up on the uh, FSK Now store so that people can mm -hmm. uh, place their orders and get their own Tuesday night clapback. Merch. Exactly. Exactly. They can, they can wear it while we're we're commentating on the show on Tuesday nights. 
Yeah. And if they just happen to be a fan of someone like Gates, Hotshot, Virgil, Vigilance, and all these great athletes, you can also pick up their books. You can also pick up shirts that just have those characters on them. So, you know, it might be worth checking out that website and uh, and seeing what all you could find on there. FSKnow.com. You'll definitely want to check that out. Get that merch. You don't want to miss yeah. out on that merch. Learn more about the the backstory of some of these characters, their their training, where they come from, what drives them. You can find out a bit more about Void and, and what his hatred for Hotshot. Void is nasty, and I I, I gotta say, Hotshot and, and Virgil are probably both glad that he's not here tonight. Um, you definitely want to head over to fskgo.com to check out the Kickstarter for Epic Twenty One. The card game that features some of your favorite characters. You don't want to miss out on that either. You know, Tony, I got a question before you for you before we get to the main event. Uh, we What's won't up? keep anybody any longer with the next premium event being Night of Champions. You know, obviously we have Gates is going to defend her title. Um, Hotshot or Big Virgil might be defending his title. Yeah. Um, you know, we saw some great tag team action tonight between uh, Lumberjacks. And Ace Blade against Spider Squirrel and Trash Panda. We talk about, you know, you, you got to have the ru rubber match. You got to have the third showing between mm -hmm. these two tag teams to see who the winner is. But is that is that when we might see maybe a, a tag team title debut? Actually, Danny, I just got the call from above. It's funny you mentioned that. I just heard they have made it official. Trash Panda, Spider Squirrel. Ace Blade Lumberjacks Part 3, and the winner of that tag team match will be the first tag team champions here on Tuesday Night Clapbacks. That's right. We are getting tag team belts, and the winner of that match, the winners of that match, will be the first tag team champions. That That's, you know, well-deserved, I think. Tonight's match felt like a championship match. I, I got to tell did. you. It's going to be hard um, to top. Yeah, you know, in, in, in my eyes, despite uh, it being tied up evenly between the wins and losses, um, man, uh, Ace Blade and Lumberjacks look really good tonight. If they can keep that chemistry, they might be walking out of Night of Champions with the gold. Yeah. Speaking of gold, let's get down to this final match of the night. And I got to say, I think we saved the best for last. Yeah, it is main event time, and we're closing out on a championship title match. <clears throat> there he is. Big Birch cashing in that money in the bank. He looks excited. Ooh, he looks pumped up. There. He looks amped. There yeah. he is. This is going to be a good one. Yeah, I mean, money in the bank or not, you, you, you know, if he, if he wins with this, I think it, it sets the tone that Big Virgil is, is man, he's he's not one to take lightly. Um, he's, a, he's a contender, a, an amazing challenger, and confident to, to call your shot, to give your opponent time, to basically surrender part of the benefit of being the money in the bank holder. Um, if it works out, that's impressive. If it does not, you got to wonder... Is Virgil going to regret this decision? It's like going for that two-point conversion. Good, you're successful, you're a hero, you don't, Introducing you're not. Introducing the challenger <laughs> from He looks amped. He looks like he's ready to get this dub. Like you said, he is a big man. He is a monster. And yeah. The champion, but Columbus let's not forget about the face that runs the place. The champ that's held it down, the man who has went has you know multiple wins under his belt. He has proven why he's the people's champ. He has proven why he's holding that belt. Hot shot. He ain't no punk. He is not any punk. He is ready for that action. Uh. 
Here we go. Not wasting any time using that speed. Yeah, and when you're going to get a big guy like this, that's what, that's what it's going to take. You've got to do what you can to set yourself apart. Waiting for him to get up here. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. you know those man. You can't have those kind of mistakes. Not sure what Virgil's what doing. That's a Virgil lot of weight on the corner doing? there. Standing shooting star press from Hot Shot. You know, and, and Hot Shot's not undefeated. You, you know, he is the champion, but he yeah. took a beating two weeks ago. Um, and, and, and from Ice Block and. Uh, yeah, Danny, but come on. That was two on one, man. It was a two on one match, but he took a beating, you know, and, and, and you got to wonder. He's had two weeks off. Is he 100 percent? Does that even matter for Hot Shot? You know, from what I understand, he's used Ooh. to taking a beating. And I'm sure Five Star would 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 acknowledge the fact that uh, Vigilance is not here. We've seen Vigilance help Hot Shot in the past, so he's on his own. He's lucky Void's not there. True. Void, uh, I mean, Vigilance being injured. We announced that earlier. Uh, we hate to see that with an athlete like Vigilance. Hopefully she can come back. But uh, Hot Shot is not looking like he has any ring rust at all. He's almost making a statement like, yo, I'm the champ for a reason. There's a reason why I got this belt. There's a reason why I'm the face that runs the place. And uh, he's proven that here with Big Virgil. Not sure why he's surprised. It's uh, still pretty early in the match to... To think that you could score the pinfall right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Define the laws of physics and gravity right there with that I'm one. I'm telling you, we, we need to have a conversation with the commissioner and make sure that he reiterates the rules. No powers in the ring. Well, you know how it is, Danny. You get caught up in the momentum. I've said that before. Sometimes things are going to happen, Danny. See... My thought is if you ask them, the response would simply be, I didn't think you would notice. Oh, that could be. Come on, look at that. That's got to be superpowers, right? Well, Virgil is a big guy. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh. It's a nasty takedown with that little the kick to the knee there. Mm -hmm. Tacking the limbs of the big fella. Lower back. If you want to see the champ in action, you want to check out Hot Shot Zero through 11 available now at fsknow.com. You want to see that man in action, that's where you want to go. Mm. Oh! Wow, nice. Little tornado, uh, tornado cutter there. Oh, I, man, that was close. That was close. Now, that one, I'm with Hot Shot on that. I thought that was three. So, at nice this little, point, is, is Virgil regretting his decision? I, I don't know. It doesn't Ooh. look like it, Danny. It doesn't look like it. Dude, that was uh, end of Ooh. days and appropriately named. Look at the strength. Look at the strength. Oh, just Ooh. costing him like a sack of potatoes. Dude, this is where, and he hits oh. him with it again. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a new champion. It's got to be a new champ. New champ tonight. Oh my god! Wow. Again, this is why Hot Shot is where he is. This man keeps on fighting. He does not give up. You know, Sony, I, th I think we need to implement some type of an instant replay, uh, some type of um, VR, you know, re-watching, and I think that was a three. Well, Danny, we pay our, re our referees a lot of money, and uh, he's down there. He's there. We can't, we can't, we can't judge what he's, what he's saying. He makes the call. Hmm. I mean, I'm sure Virgil would, would, wouldn't argue 
that it's not the first time he's been discriminated against, as, considering he is a genome. It's true. If you want to find out what a genome is, you can uh, go to fsknow.com and pick up Green Zone. Ooh. Ooh! This has been a pretty good match. A lot of back and forth here. Yeah, it's... uh. To me, it looks like, um, you know, and, and we've seen big, big Virgil take a beating. Yeah, you we've know, seen last week he went through the ladder. We've seen him uh, dish him out. We've seen him take him. He's uh, oh, 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 oh hot shot. barely like missed. Get out of the way. You know, and the only beating he's taken so far that he couldn't get up from was Void. You gotta wonder if that stuck with him. Is that really might be the reason why? He decided two nights, knowing that Void was suspended, to go ahead and just cash in. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can hide behind, I'm calling my shot, I'm doing the noble thing, I'm letting you know. I want Oh, to the reversal. Oh. oh. The hot shot dropped. Let's see. Wow. He got him. Hot shot is no punk, Danny Cooper. No, he is no punk. No. I have to say that was a relatively quick match. However, once again, Hot Shot took a beating, and Virgil showed that you know he can, he yeah. can take a beating too, and keep getting up, keep going, keep coming back for more. Wow, I'm just surprised how many you know finishers Hot Shot took. He even took two back to back. Yeah. And uh, still the champ, man. Champion, the hero. Hot. Hot shot. You see him right there, ladies and gentlemen. There's a reason why he is the champ. There's a reason why he is on top. And that's, I think that's part of the reason why the fans love him is that he can take a beating and he will still manage to, to just squeeze out a victory. I agree. Uh, yeah, man. What a, what a great match. Um, you know, Virgil, he definitely at least proved that he needs to be in the championship talk. He is in the championship picture. Um, what a great night, an amazing night. Um, we're looking forward to next week. We got some debuts happening next, you know, people debuting next week. Um, and we're just on the road to Clash of Champions. And guess what, Danny? I just got I just got another word. Oh, spill, spill the tea, Tony. Spill the tea. Not only are we getting new tag team championship belts that night, we are also getting an FSK United States champion that will be crowned that night in a 10-man battle royal. A 10-man battle royal. Now, and you know, mm, that's gonna it's gonna change the landscape. You've got you know, we talked about the talent we, we see in, in the tag matches tonight. You know, mm -hmm. looking at Ace Blade, looking at at Spider Squirrel, and, and and thinking, you know, are they ready for the, for that that title hunt? This gives it, a, you know, an additional target and prize to look for. You know, if, if if you know, I wouldn't be surprised if if the team that loses at Night of Champions and is not crowned the the, the champs, you know, we might see them split and and set their sights on the United States uh, Championship. Very true. It could easily happen. The unique thing, though, about this United States Championship is it uh, it is a a title that has to be defended every week every <laughs> week on clapback tuesdays it'll it'll be uh be on the line well i'm so, gonna i'm gonna crown the title now that whoever that first champion is or whoever holds that title we're gonna call them mr tuesday night because they're gonna be the one every tuesday night we're guaranteed yep. to see in that ring competing every night yep and that's uh, talk about a target on your back. Talk about having to put in that work. Talk about a fighting champion. Whoever that person is, they will definitely be a fighting champion. They will be fighting for that belt each week just to spice things up, make it a little extra hot for you. So uh, let's go ahead, and we've told you about Epic 21. Let's run that commercial. Let you all see what we're talking about because y'all you know we can talk about it we can say it but you gotta see it i think i think the people need to see it what do you think danny yeah i think it's a it's a let, let's let's not Run talk that. about it let's show them it Run it.
You know, the great there thing is. about that, Tony, is that is your chance by, by supporting this campaign and getting your hands on your own deck of Epic 21 cards is you get to compete in, in, in battle with your your favorite FSK characters. And, and unlike our, our trained professionals here at, at Tuesday Night Clapback, it's safe. You get to compete and have mm -hmm. fun and, and, and challenge and, and not worry about getting hurt or running into void or <laughs> yeah. jitsu gates. Exactly. You see them on the pages. You see them in the ring. Now you get to play with them in the hand on the mat. I mean, come on. You don't want to miss out on that. You don't want to miss out on that. I know I don't want to miss out on that. I plan on collecting every single card that comes out. So I was a big uh, Pokemon card collector. So, you know. I'll have to throw them Pokemon cards away, empty that binder to get ready for my Epic 21. Sounds like a smart move. Yes, sir, it does. Hey, thank you for tuning in with us. Make sure you join us next week because guess what? Each week, we just clap back even harder. We keep clapping back harder, and you don't want to miss any of the action. So make sure you join us next week. Danny Cooper, it's been a great week, man. One As always. Ages. Yep, as always, excited for next week, and uh, yes, can't wait to get to Night of Champions. Me, either. let's let's. It's gonna be exciting for sure. All right, we'll catch you guys. Columbus, Ohio.